What's up, my chosen ones? It's your boy, BJ, man. You already know we back up in the building, man. Turn the volume up. Go tell your next door neighbor. Go tell your mama, your daddy, your cousin, your auntie, your baby mama, your baby daddy, your brother, your sister, a stranger, whoever, a cat, a dog. Go tell somebody your boy, BJ, is back up in the building, man. Hey, it's in the morning time. It's feeling good. This is my type of weather right here. This is that fall weather. It's nice and chilly out here. This is how I love it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like it no other way. But this way right here, man. <laughs> Listen, y'all. I hope I ain't disturbing y'all. I let y'all sleep with all this good content, with all this good information. I hope I ain't disturbing y'all. But if I am, let me tell y'all something. It is worth the while. Wake up out your sleep. Wake, you know, get that crust out your eye. You know, brush your, don't even brush your teeth. Click and watch this video instantly as soon as it hits your phone <laughs> look y'all listen this message today man it's finna hit home with it you know what i'm saying this is very 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 important you know not saying anything else i drop is not important but this is very 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 important right here y'all listen put your headphones in y'all god put on my chest early this morning so I had to talk about this. A lot of us, we out here screaming, black lives matter. A lot of us, we getting tired of what's going on. A lot of us, we just sick and tired of not being able to push forward. Um, Help our people, help yourself. A lot of us, we are tired, right? But if a lot of us wanna help ourselves, help our people, we have to step up into that position. We have to step up into that position. We have to step up into that leadership role. I'm seeing a lot of people out here today in this world, you know, they may say this, they may say that, I don't care how old you are, you know, but they're not really stepping up. Nobody's not really stepping up, you know. So this is, this is another video, but this is why they say the chosen ones, because the chosen ones, we come down here on this planet at this appointed time to lift up the vibrations, to lift up humanity, to push the people to move forward, to push the people to step in their leadership position, to push the people to raise their vibrations, to push the people to understand how powerful you are. That's what the chosen ones do. That's what the chosen ones do. That's why we here. A lot of people, back to the black lives, a lot of people say black lives matter, right? So if black lives matter, if you're so concerned, why not do nothing about it? If you know you could do something about it, why not? Why not heal? Why not get to know yourself? Why not figure out who you are so you can help your black people? And it ain't, we're not even just talking about the black people, we're talking about the whole world. But I'm just so more so speaking about the Black Lives Matter because that's kind of the movement right now. You know us black people, we done went through a lot of shit. We done went through a lot of shit. So now, that being said, if we care so much about our people, if we care so much about our kids and stuff like that, getting killed yeah. or just going to prison or not getting an education, the proper education that they need to survive and to move on to the next level and to move right and correctly out here, this is what we're supposed to be doing. How you care about your, how do you care about your, you know, your black people, your kids, other people. How do you care? I'm not here to bash nobody. I'm not here to talk about nobody, but I gotta lay this shit on the table because ain't nobody gonna lay this shit on the table like how I know how to lay it on the table. That's why God chose me to take care of this mission. <laughs> That's why God chose me to take care of this mission. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us out here, we make so many excuses and it's a shame, man. It's a shame how we make so many excuses. Y'all got to understand something. When we say Black Lives Matter, we got to hit home. That's why if y'all haven't watched all my old videos from 
a couple years ago, y'all need to go ahead and catch up right now, man. Y'all need to go ahead and catch up right now. Because when I talk about, when I say discipline, foundation, building the foundation and stuff like that, all that stuff really matters. It does. <laughs> getting your kids in order, getting your household, keeping your household in order, you know, all that stuff really matters. You know, uh, teaching your kids wrong from right, not letting your kids just grow up out here and just do anything and, you know, be around bad habits and toxic people and just all, all that stuff really matters. You know what I'm saying? We mold our kids at a young age to know this, know that. To, we mold our kids at the young age to know not to do this, know not to do that. You know what I'm saying? If somebody say something to you, our kids not, some of us, we, our kids don't even know. That's why we look so stupid. <laughs> Even if you don't know, figure out a way to get, get to know something. Like, watch these videos, you know what I'm saying? Or if you see somebody else talking about some educational stuff, or something, click on that video. There's a lot of stuff that I didn't know, but guess what I did? Went out here, researched some stuff, did my homework, stayed up long nights. Now, guess what? I got the information. Now I can help y'all get this information. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Turn the volume up, man. If y'all sleeping, y'all better y'all better wake up. It ain't no time to be sleeping. It ain't no time to be sleeping. Y'all had last night to sleep a little bit, not even then. <laughs> ain't no time to be sleeping for real, for real, man. But listen, if black lives matter, these are the things we have to do. You know? And I don't even want to keep saying that, but we because we all the same. You know what I'm saying? We all the same. But it's just so more of the black people, you know, how we move. You know, the black, don't get it twisted. We are very intelligent human beings. It's a lot of us out here. We all intelligent, but we make the wrong decisions. We let other people guide us into the wrong directions. We don't sometimes think for ourselves. We don't sometimes think for ourselves. You know? Hold on, y'all. It's this car sitting right here in this corner and shit, man. I don't know what these niggas doing. You see them cars, the car sitting right here in the corner. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to have to light this bitch up. You know? I do have my strap on me, my weapon. You know, we don't talk slang no more. Try not to, at least I have my weapon on me. You know? <clears throat> so. These are the things we have to do. These, these are the things we have to do, you know? And a lot of us, like I say, just for instance right here, I'm sitting up here, you know, I'm looking at these people, the people I was talking about in the car. And I could just, I don't even know them from a can of paint, but I can already tell off of what they doing and how they move that, you know, they're ignorant, you know? I'm gonna just be so blunt with it, they're ignorant. You know what I'm saying? Just ignorant, you know? People will smoke in front of their kids, People will talk about stuff they don't have to, no business talking about in front of their kids. So it's, it kind of make us look silly. It kind of make us look, you know, uneducated. Back to what I was saying before I got really interrupted by the devil or whoever, you know what I'm saying? Most of our people, we are intelligent. I see a lot of people in the penitentiary that have talent out this world, but they wait to, it's, it's to, they wait to, until it's too late to realize that they have power and they have talent. I, I, sometimes I just scroll up on YouTube or whatever, boop, and I see people in prison singing, people in pre, uh, pre, prison preaching, and doing other things. I'm like, okay, they got some talent. Okay, okay, <laughs> they, they, they doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it hurts me to see that some of my people have to wait until it's too late to realize that they are powerful, to realize this is the real world, to realize how we've been supposed to be moving all along, to realize they worth, to realize they value. That's the problem I have. That's the problem we have right now. If black lives matter, we're supposed to be out here really teaching our people. If you got people around you that's mind shifted into the wrong direction you supposed to redirect their mind 
Don't just let your brother, don't just let your sister just go down the wrong path. Don't let them do that to themselves and their family. You be that leader. You be that great example. Hey, that's not good, man. Hey, we, let's find another route. Hey, let's do this. Don't just sit there and go along with the plan. And then later on, you talking about Black Lives Matter because you were just set up and God put you in a position to see if you would be a great leader. If you could just push to be that leader that he needs you to be, but you failed the test. <laughs> Turn the volume up, man. Turn the volume up. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. See, example, right now, I'm outside. I'm outside. It's kids that walk past here, go to school. If I see a group of kids trying to jump this one boy, do you think I'm going to sit here and let these people jump this one boy? Or do you think I'm going to go over there and stop that situation from escalating? Or, you know, period. What you think? What y'all think, Chosen? What would you do? What would you do? What would a great leader like you do? You damn right. We will go over there and stop that situation. Stop that situation. I don't care. Because that's what leaders do. Now, what if that was your son, your daughter, somebody tried to jump you, I mean, jump, jump them, and, and they let them jump them? You were going to be like, man, you said, and then, like I said in one of my other videos, I said, and then something happened to them. And then they, they sit in there with Fox 2 and all them police. Oh, I saw what happened. Well, why your lazy ass, your non-leader ass didn't go over there and help them. Your pathetic ass did not get off your ass and go over there and help them. Help him. Help her. You know what I'm saying? It's something be going on over here, too. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. In my neighborhood, the helicopters always ride past this boy. I'm gonna figure it out what's going on because I'm telling you, they always fly over this same particular area. I'm gonna figure out what's going on around here, man. But like I say, if black lives matter, these are the things we're supposed to be doing. Hey, man, what is y'all jumping this? What is y'all jumping this person for? Oh, he was trying to talk to my, he was trying to talk to my woman. What? Well, I think you need to handle this in a better situation. Go tell your woman why she trying to talk to him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It need to be, it need to be broken up. You see that? Y'all see that? Hold on, let me see. Where that helicopter at? Oh, there you go. Hold on. I don't know. Y'all see it? Told you, it's something sneaky going on. This is second time swarming over here. It's something sneaky going on. They looking for somebody, man. They looking for somebody, man. You know what I'm saying? It's something sneaky going on around here. But look, if black lives matter, these are the things we would be taking care of. If black lives matter, if your kids come home saying what they did, oh, they, uh, dad, I, dad, I, punch the female in her face. <laughs> what she do? Why did you do that, man? Oh, she... She was talking about me and I put her, good job, good job. No, no, no. I beat up a boy and then you just going along with him. No, you need to redirect their mind into what it's supposed to be on. You know, just sit up there and go along. Be a parent, be an uncle, be an auntie. There's a lot of uncles and aunties and grandmas and mamas and daddies. A lot of that out here, a lot of people not stepping up until they a power, they true power, man. Not, it's not. You know, like I see, like I said, man, I see a lot of people. Uh, the other day too, real quick before I get into that. Other day, I was driving. I'm coming back to the crib. I see, I'm good at eyeballing people' ages, y'all. I see about, I want to say he about like 15, 16. He out there smoking early. Pants saying he walking to school. I could tell you walking to school. He got a backpack. You know what I'm saying? And it's early. Everybody walking to school. I could tell he was walking to school. But my whole thing is, why are you that young and starting off smoking? You must see some. It must be some bad influences around you to have you just drift off into that. You get what I'm saying? But if you know your nephew, your niece, or whatever out here smoking, 
Somebody need to stop that. Somebody need to say something. You can't make people do what you want them to do, but at the end of the day, you still need to put your, uh, you need you still need to uh, voice your opinion on what they're doing. That's what you need to do, chosen. Voice your opinion on what they're doing. Help them. I didn't, I didn't have um, multiple of my nieces and nephews, and I see them doing something wrong. I guide them. I can't make y'all do what I want y'all to do, but I only can t t uh, voice my opinion to how you're supposed to be doing what you're supposed to be doing. You don't need to be smoking. You don't need to be skipping school. You don't need to be trying to grow up too early, trying to lay up with females, lay up with these niggas and all this. You don't need to be doing that. You don't need to be trying to steal, rob, and do all this extra stuff. You don't need to be doing that. It come, it's, it's coming to a point in time, I'm trying to get y'all to understand, it's coming to the point in time where it's going to be a separation between the people who know what they need to know and the people who don't know what they need to know. It's going to come into a point in time. It's going to come into the point of time. Because now what we're doing out here is bullshitting around. No, so excuse my profanity, but it's now that's what I have to that's how I have to lay it on some people. It's a lot of bullshitting around out here. And then when shit hit the fan, we all looking around, oh man, you see that man, what what's going on? How can we then trying to figure out a way to go, uh try to figure out a plan B. How can they get this information? How it's been this information been given to you all along. But you just wanted to be to do what you wanted to do, which is party not care about this good information, not want to uh, uh, take the time out to heal yourself. You know what I'm saying? You didn't want to do that. That's on you. You got to pay the consequences now. You got to suffer the consequences. Y'all get what I'm saying? Turn the volume up, man. It's your boy. I swear it feels so good outside. This is my type of weather, man. I, summer, don't get a twist. I love summer, but it just be too hot for me. I'm be playing all that. I like the cool. I like the cold. I like that because I'm a fire sign too. I, I'm just full of fire, full of fire. Y'all well, see how I be coming at y'all. I'm full of fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But look, y'all. I just wanted to drop that on y'all today, man, because this is very important. This is very important. If you see somebody screaming "Black Lives Matter" or whatever. You got to guide people in the right direction. I don't care if you white, black, chi Chinese, uh, 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 Indian. Uh, I don't care what you are. Hispanic. I don't care what your race is. We all the same. If you see somebody talking silly, talking stupid, or thinking about doing something stupid or not, if you see somebody have potential and they're not living up to their full potential, you let them know, hey, you got potential, man. You are going to be the next president. You are going to be the next president. What? Are you serious? Are you serious? You're just chiving around. No, I'm not. I'm serious. I'm dead ass serious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of us, like I say, a lot of people, two of y'all chosen ones, they don't really know that they have potential, but somebody else could see their potential. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't even know they have potential, but somebody else about their potential. Bro, you know you can rap. Bro, you know you can sing. Girl, you know you can dance. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you know you can be a lawyer. Did you know you could be a writer? Did you know you could be a policeman, a firefighter, a scientist? Did you know that? You know what I'm saying? It's about the information, y'all. It's about the information and it's about us leaders guiding our team to victory, bro. That's why the chosen ones are here. I'm going to let y'all know again. That's why the chosen ones are here to guide our team to victory. To guide our team to victory. Longs I live, y'all. Longs I still be on YouTube making this content. I'm going to do my best to make sure I do what I do to guide my people, to lift my people up. It may be harsh at times. Some of the stuff I may say harsh, some people may get offended, but don't take it, don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. I love all y'all. I love all y'all. Every single last one of y'all, I love all y'all. But it's time for us to step up into our power. 
when I'm on the phone with my boys, when I'm on the phone with my boys, I'm not talking about, oh, how we, when you get out, and, you know what I'm saying, what we going to do, what we going to trap, who we going to uh, go slide on the ops block and all this and all that. I'm not talking about none of that shit no more. What I'm talking about on my phone, on the phone with my boys now is completely different from back then. I'm talking about, hey, what you doing while you in there? Is you doing some healing? Is you reading your books? Is you getting that education that you need to know? When you get back out, what you want to do? How you want to move? How you want to navigate? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about no nonsense. Y'all got to understand that. I'm not talking about no nonsense. We are too valuable. People don't understand. We are too valuable to be getting ourselves in messed up positions. We are too valuable to be chained down in a damn prison cell. We are too valuable. We are too valuable to have somebody control our life. I'm talking about when you go to sleep, when you can eat, don't do this, when you can get out of prison. We are too valuable for that. I'm teaching my people how to not go to these places, how to prevent these places. What to do when you get out these situations? Turn the volume up, man. That's what we're supposed to do. That's how we redirect our people's mind. That's how we be great leaders. We don't just go along with the flow. I don't care if, I, man, I, I tell all my boys, I don't care if, whether they want to hear it or not. This is what it is. What you going to do when you get out, fam? We can't keep on repeating the same cycle. You done been locked down for 10 years, 15 years. Don't you think that's enough damn time? I don't care if you've been locked down for five or six years, nigga. That's, that's, that's still time I can't get, excuse me. That's still time I cannot get back. So I'm not going to be out here chiving around. I'm not going to be out here bullshitting around, man. No. No. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> you know? Because we are powerful. We are powerful. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us, like I said, we let our we let our struggle and all that stuff let us make the wrong decisions as well. We let our, uh, how we came into this world. I don't care if you came in this world without a, we, we ain't coming in this world with, a, uh, with no money. I don't care if you're struggling. I don't care. But don't, don't let that make you, don't let that make you Make the wrong decisions. Don't let that make you give up your freedom. Don't let that make you give your life up or risk your life up. You know what I'm saying? Put your life in danger, jeopardy, jeopardizing your life, your family. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying, Chosen? Turn the volume up, man. It's your boy, BJ. Go tell somebody. Go tell your next door neighbor, your mama, your daddy, your baby mama, your baby daddy, your auntie, your uncle. Your auntie, your son, your daughter, whoever, go tell your boy BJ is back up in the building. Listen, listen, it's very important, man. It's very important. I just wanted to drop that on y'all today, man, because it's, it's very important. We, we have to really start, you know, practicing leadership. We have to really start practicing leadership out here, man. We really do, you know. We really do. We we need more leaders. We need we need we need y'all. You know, yeah. That's the truth. We need y'all. We need more leaders. You know, stop caring about what somebody else gonna say about you. You know, you gonna have people hate you, regardless. You know, just face it. Just accept life. You know what I'm saying? But if this is something on your heart to do, hey, you wanna go speak here you want to go work here you want to go do this do that you're doing something positive a lot of people like i tell y'all y'all don't know a lot of people don't know that we are here for a bigger purpose we are here for a bigger mission the mission is bigger than us yes it is the mission is bigger than us you know we have to lift people up there's people right now that they think about committing suicide don't you sit there and let them commit suicide. You sit there and listen to what they got to say and figure out how you can squeeze your two cents in to make that change to their life. 
I said, you don't just sit there and let them commit suicide. You figure out how to put your two cent in to make them not commit suicide. You know? <laughs> That's it. That's it, y'all. That's all she wrote today. That's all she wrote today. I ain't finna talk y'all to death, man. Always remember that y'all are in charge of y'all future. Let nobody else tell y'all otherwise. It's your boy, and I'll see y'all next time, man.